But you still have the feasibility uh, due in September, right, for the 543? Yeah, September, uh, September, October 2015. And you're still going to yeah. have to we're still, go through we're that? We're going forward with the projects on the q And uh, G2, will that get a feasibility study? Uh, we probably have to do more work before we go forward with a feasibility study. Okay. Uh, question for you, I guess, on the mining. Uh, you're, you're mentioning room and pillar. Have you talked about drill and blast or uh, uh, continuous miners or because Orvana did think about they had a mining plan at one time that was going to allow subsidence. They were going to go back and rob pillars and allow subsidence as they came out of the mining area tonight. I was curious whether you have thought about that. Yeah, we had the opportunity to spend this afternoon at our office with the former mine manager, Bob Caesar, and the former Chief Geologist of White Pine, Rod Johnson, and we learned a lot from Rod. And uh, cooperate, did a great effort to, to use the best possible techniques in terms of recovery of White Pine. And uh, I've been I'm surprised at how many mining methods they tried, and they, and they tried hard. That's why I say we have a lot to learn from people here who work in White Pine. And, uh, and we, we do intend to, to sit with each one of them, and uh, what worked and what didn't work at uh, that mining process. And uh, the White Pine too, with Michigan Tech, they developed a lot of mining techniques that are used around the world. And uh, the rope bolting methods, and, uh, resins that are just anchor bolts and small bolts, and, yeah. and, and, and uh, rubberizing the equipment. So, and and we do believe that a lot of innovative technological solutions can be right here. Working partnerships with Michigan Tech, which has a big background in mining and uh, engineering. That's, uh, that's the, the solutions and the best practices can be found right here by doing proper research and working hand to hand with this uh, technical solution. So you're aware that the rock mechanics engineer for White Pine Mine for decades is right still living in this area? Yes, we are. Jack Parker? We, we very much would like to meet him because uh, when you're mining at uh, 3,000 feet in that, you can imagine the pressures you're dealing with, and you better do a good design, safe design, so that those pillars sustain your back and uh, that, so that you can work uh, productively and safely. 